Hi guys, and welcome. Uh, this week, uh, you have the luxury of myself and Mark. So it's Sean and Mark uh, commentating, and we're commentating live from Watkins Glen uh, for the Tanzo GRE6 final race of the season. Season 8, round 7. Going to have two races today. And it's working out to be a close one in a couple of the divisions. Uh, if you've been following along, then you'll see that we've got a Pro-Am and Pro-Am division. Uh, in the pros, Daniel Wareham's done it. He's, uh, he, he's, he's beat the field, 483 points to Christopher Smith's 361. And I've got to say, my favourite racer of the season, sorry, shouldn't have favourites, a commentator, but I have, is Stuart Court. Uh, 314 points in third and then my second favorite eric ronenberg and just because they give us a lot of fun not saying dan and uh and, and and the other guys don't but um yeah anyway ryan dudley in fifth so that's the pros in pro-am it's a little bit closer we've got jack holland up there on 479 points lee rylands in 441 and peter woodmore in 423 points in third so yeah there's some possibilities of a shakedown there absolutely and there's a little surprise in hams as well craig Corish, uh leading the way on 393 points and jt yes that's right john johnston is in second place on 374. so uh a good battle there. Let's see if JT can pull one off and win his own league. Uh, slightly embarrassing? Maybe. But if he gets the chance, I'm sure he won't let uh, let, let, let Craig get on with it. Uh, Mark, close battles? Yeah, it's, it seems to be heating up now between the pro arms and arms at the moment. So it is. So uh, it could be an injury the night. Uh, this track is uh, very open. Big draft track this now, so uh, it'll not be easy. It'll be it'll be hard to keep ahead now on the long straights. Um, so it should hopefully make for some interesting side by side racing, especially into the bus stop. I know JT he does struggle with bus stops and his real life uh, job, and he, <laughs> he 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 struggles here too to understand the bus stop too. But uh, yeah, uh, uh, hopefully they can get right up now all in one piece, and should hopefully make for some interesting racing. Yeah, it, it's a bit of a mix, this track, isn't there? there? There's some really tricky bits where you have to, say, feather the throttle, um, typically coming round after the bus stop on the outer loop and into the chute. And then there's some just wide open sort of draft fests up the back straight and um, up across the start finish line. Um, uh, so it's, uh, it's, a, it's a right old mix. It's a good test. Typically, we see bigger cars racing around here. Um, but uh, but what are we into now? Qualifying. And we're on board with... Uh, well, we're following Dan Wareham. Yep. So Dan's in the pro section. He's actually won this season, which is fantastic. Uh, he's had some really close battles over the weeks. Really enjoyed watching Dan, him and Stuart especially, and a little bit of Eric Ronenberg in the mix um yeah they've been working really well and then ryan dudley has done a great job of backing him up at times splitting the field um and christopher smith has always been there so um yeah uh dan's dan's done well it's nice to see him come out for the final race and hopefully he'll uh, he'll take it away be really good yeah he, uh, as he always says he's in it to win it i uh, know he's kind of dreading this track he was saying last time in the interview, he was dreading the the draft fest, but uh, if there's anyone can hold them off, it'll be Dan Wareham. Uh, he's the the master of the dummy move, I'd say. He, he he makes you put the car where you don't want to put it to try and overtake him. So he'll definitely not make it easy for the boys behind, and I'm sure he'll be right up there with the the tops of them now. But uh, he didn't have it easy last week. Um, yeah, and uh, I'd say it'll be the same. No, the same. He, he's. He He's, he's definitely not walked away with it, but by any, um, you know, by any count, he, he really has had to battle. Stuart's always been on his back. Uh, Christopher Smith's given him a good run for his money. And him and Eric, in, in more than just this season, have gone head-to-head -head quite a few times. 
Um, but he's just such a good racer, makes less mistakes um, than others. And, um, you know, he, he manages to uh, manage to pull it through, which is uh, which is really cool. Yeah, uh, I'd say uh, if there's anyone now who can tighten them this evening, I'd say uh, Martin Shirley. Uh, between him yeah. and last week, there was very little between them now. There was a lot of close racing and side by side. So, uh, yeah, it could be sort of anyone's race this evening. Eric Ronenberg in there already with the fastest lap so far. But, uh, yeah, it's anything's possible. The, the, the pros, even though Dan has um, certainly put it to bed, uh, the, the, the pro section has, has been, uh, you know, by far some of the closest battling and the, you know there's a lot of good competitors and like i say i think it's been a race of, of of the least mistakes it's certainly not been about who's the quickest um so what we've got um in chat we have baz welcome baz um baz is part of the tanzo group doesn't race gr86 for some crazy reason I'm not sure why gt3 fan he's a uh, <laughs> founder of the faster car he's a big gt3 man yeah runs a lot of the endurance races and uh, i think he likes a bit of the whole formula cars too but a formula eight isn't it he's into yeah um, and um rob's pointing out that we haven't got stuart court turned up for tonight for the last race so um, it, we are just coming out of holiday season which is why Mark has done the commentating for me for the last uh, week or so because uh, I've been away so that is the problem with some of this when it runs over uh, Easter holidays you know people have other lives unfortunately they're not professional racing drivers even though they might look like it yeah we were, and you were on a wee, uh, yeah. business trip to Dubai or something wasn't it Oh, I wish it was business. No, it was I, I, well, JT told me <laughs> you're, you're <laughs> trying to sell sand to the Arabs out there. <laughs> it was a business trip. <laughs> ah, yeah. Um, <laughs> no, it was. Uh, although they, although they could do with sand because you can't build a lot with the sand that's in the desert. It's too fine. It's too dry. So you you need wet sand to build with. But no, unfortunately. Well, fortunately, unfortunately. Well. Unfortunately, I had to pay for it because it was a holiday. So if it had been business, I wouldn't have had to pay for it. But, well, look, uh, JT managed yeah, the bus stop, yeah. look. <laughs> yeah, no, he's got around there, hasn't he? Yeah. Um, and, and then luckily, we, 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 we got back before they f closed the flight corridor just because um, of all the trouble out there. But oh, uh, um, yeah, but yeah, we're on board with JT as he meanders round uh, the track trying to put a time in uh what is he uh 3.2 seconds off uh off the leaders uh but um craig chorus is the it, his main him, opposition him craig. yeah that's right and craig's put in a 206 there uh what is he 6.7 two minutes 6.7 so uh yeah jt's got a bit of work to do but it, it do you know what I love about this, especially at this level? It's not about the fastest times. Um, I don't know about you, Mark, but I've won, not won, but I've done well in many a race and never been the fastest on the track. Um, it's as much about car handling, staying out of trouble and, um, and being sensible as anything else. Uh, JT would always say picking up the freebies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But that's... Um, you know that's that's what that's what you got to do and um you know a lot of the mid pack and back of the pack you know if we can't race fast enough that's what we got to do so um so that's what jt's got to do tonight actually to mm. keep a level head um he always keeps a level head if anything too level but um but yeah if craig gets into trouble then jt could 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 nick it from him mm. that would be um that would be very interesting to see well, if JT can, oh, we're nearly coming. To, yeah, yeah. If JT Sorry, can keep on the the back of them with the the draft, uh, it'll it'll help them along a bit more too. So you never know, and anything yeah. could happen yeah. here the night. Yeah. So we've got um, Scott McFowl at two oh five. Wow, that is fast. And we're just coming to the end of qualifying by the looks of it. I think Craig's just uh, just nipped off. I'm gonna switch. Uh, we're just waiting for the times to finish here to switch over, and uh, yeah, we'll okay. uh, we'll get the the grid up now in a second. So we'll 
We'll see how we right. these boys fare out. Well, a couple of people left in track, so could be anything. Yeah, Baz saying, yeah, I hate the GR86s, but I do like the Mazdas. Well, uh, I don't know. I thought the, <laughs> the the GRs was a bit of an improvement in the Mazdas, but uh, yeah, I suppose each to their own. <laughs> well, I I used to like the Mazda when the GR86 didn't exist yeah. um, as a, 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 a as a slower car. Um, I do prefer the handling of the GR86 over the Mazda, got to say. But yeah. uh, let's do the qualifying results, shall we? So we've got Matt, uh, Scott McFall um, in pros uh, in first place, followed by Eric Ronenberg. See, Eric's always up there. Jack Holland um, in third, Josh Arnold in fourth, uh, Sean Weber in fifth, and Dan Wareham in sixth. So Dan is, um, you know, a good half a second off, off the lead, uh, which should give us a good race. Uh, short, sorry, I missed Sean Webber there in, uh, in, in fifth. And then we've got Dan Forster, seventh, Lee Rylands in eighth, Kevin Woodmore in ninth, Adrian Hepfeld in tenth, Scott Brown in eleventh, and Craig Corish pushing up there in twelfth. So Craig could be going up next season. Uh, Neil Kennedy... 13, Peter Woodmore, 14. Uh, Sean and Terry Atkinson rolled up in 15th, 16th. Good old field here. Uh, 17th is Scott Kostrick. John Johnson, 18th. Jason Brooks, 19th. Daniel Martin in 20th. Peter Sigka in 21st. Martin Shirley, 22nd. Rounding out with Christopher Smith and Rob Sutherland, 23rd and 24th. I think that is our field. And um, it looks like we're ready to go yeah they're just and, uh, waiting um, for the last few to grid up now i think scott's still the grid in front and uh yeah let's see how these boys get on yeah and there we go we can hear the engines revving for one and we're off we're green a bit slow there from scott i think eric's uh yeah, Eric's took it. Eric's got him there. Eric, Scott, Jack Holland, Sean Webber, Dan Wareham, Josh Arnold. And um, Scott's now on the inside, going around the 90. And all make it just nice and clean through the first lap of cold yeah, tires. It's very nice and clean. Looking very crowded out there. But all looking very clean as we come up through the S's into the back straight. Oh, a bit of a touchy, touchy there. Oh, we've got something going on in the midfield. Oh, JT's got connected too. Bargy, bargy. Oh, and JT took it right in the side there as Eric is off with Scott McFall. Yeah, we'll jump back and oh, see what happened um, here. We had the... Yeah, who was that? Who was that? That was one of the... That was either Peter Sigcar or Peter Woodmore. Lost it there, I think. Bit and... Um, didn't quite catch what happened there but uh, if we go back out front we've got Eric Ronenberg and Scott fighting it off and then somebody else Jack Holland's just lost it wow we have got a few events going on there that was Jack Holland 225 and Sean Atkinson too I think I picked up on that but uh, yeah these cars is a wee bit of a handful now with the cold tyres a lot of these boys will be running the wing five set up to the night for the long straights to try and get that little bit extra. So does lead, yeah, does leave them very light in the tail now. So it does for the first couple of laps and very hard to control the cars. Uh, yeah, they they they're they're fond of a wee bit of slip and slide now in the first couple of laps. But after that, the when the tires heat up, the two seem to get a lot more grip. Yeah, and Eric's uh, Eric's got control of this out front now closely followed by Scott and uh, the two of them have got a, almost a second and a half on on Sean Webber Dan Wareham another half a second behind them with Josh Arnold and that's your top five as they come down the start finish straight for the first time in very tidy order and we'll take you across the line and we've got Eric Ranneberg, Scott McFall, Sean Webber, Dan Wareham, Josh Arnold, Lee Rylands Dan Forster, Adrian Hadfield, Craig Corish up there in ninth. That's really good for Craig. Um, stands a chance of clearing uh, the, the division he's in. 
Um, we've got a bit of good racing going on here. We've got the Woodmores getting involved with each other behind Craig as well, which is really cool. Craig, the number 13 car, and I guess Daniel Martin trying to make going, a few moves too. Yeah, we've got the flying up in on the inside there. Was um, was Daniel Martin? Yeah, very good maneuver there. Very fast driver, Daniel. Uh, I'm sure he'd like to be up closer to the front with Sarek and Scott and Daniel Worm, but uh, I'd say he'll be a man that'll take some positions now. And yeah, I'd say come the end of it, he should be close to the front, if not. Yeah, we just lost a, another couple in the background there, but uh, but like you say, Dan, uh, Daniel Martin will, will work his way through. There's, there's a long way to go yet. Yeah, it's gone and, just um, cold tyres there and uh, very hard to... Oh, oh. didn't uh, hold it. Yeah, no, quite lucky there, I think. Uh, yeah, he's held the brake, he's looking for his position to slot back in, so fair play to him. And he's back on track. Yeah, that's the thing with these cars, it's uh, trying to see around you look for your awareness, so... A lot of the background god uh, trying to find that position to slot back in without distorting someone else's race. So uh, yeah. that's what we try and teach in Tanzo as well, as much as possible. That uh, yeah, if you do go off, like uh, be considerate of the people around you, and uh, you know, put your brakes on, wait for a clear spot, don't wreck anyone else's race, and uh, yeah, with no damage in these cars either, you know come back on the track afterwards and race your race but uh, you've always got the set of the feature race then to come back from again too so uh, it makes for some interesting racing you know it doesn't destroy your night either so no and you can see from the from the guys up front i mean look at uh, look at scott and eric going side by side you know they're doing it relatively safely they're having a close race so even though these are slow cars if you know how to drive them you really can do it and you can work your way as we're on board with Scott now in the uh, chase here through the uh, through through the bus stop through the bus stop uh, <laughs> Eric uh, <laughs> and down the chute and this is uh, for me this is always the tricky bit is that there's a patch of um, cement on the right I look for a breaking point and you just got to feather it slightly and goes why did you dare down here but it'll be and this is the one I can never get right in the toe. Yeah, I've, people. Some people take it uh, differently. Like I would be more on the curb on the right side to try and get the exit out of it. Yeah. Um, but next lap it'll be Eric's chance for the uh, the slipstream or the draft up the the, the back yeah, straight. Absolutely. And uh, you're going to see a lot of people uh, swapping positions here. It's just going to be tit for tat, I'd say. Eric's and this is oh, so Eric's going to go off track for that. You can't go quite that wide, but um, and and then what's that? Dan Wirham on the scene, hunting them down. Dan's taking advantage of Eric's mistake there. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he's going to try and go round. I don't think Eric will mind too much. <laughs> no, he's going to he's going to have the draft, isn't he? Yeah. Although we got we got Sean Weber having a poke now as well. Yeah, these boys now are uh, hard racing, so they are for sure. Yeah, they're. You know, Dan Dan may have won the, the 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 season eight championship this year, but these guys still want to win the race. Yeah, he's and always. They've given us given us a good battle. In it to win us, that's them sim tech boys. <laughs> that's their motto. You can see it plastered across the back bumper. So these boys <laughs> do not take no prisoners. They are always pushing hard and like. They know these cars back to front, so they do. They're running PCC there all the time, and if you can stick with these boys in the GRD sixes, well, you've you've pretty much made it. Like, I'm 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 a bit in awe of that 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 they managed to stick to this one car all the time and keep racing it and keep racing it. I still haven't found my uh, my one car, unfortunately. Yeah, I, I used to love running these cars too. Uh, I took a bit of a sabbatical, and now I've, I've tucked that long away from them. Now I'm scared to go back into them again because I would <laughs> I, I would have been mixing it through these boys at the front, you know. Uh, I've had yeah. a couple of wee wins, and we've had good battles with all, all SimTech boys, but uh, I'd just be scared to go back into them, you know, because uh, it's like 
you don't mind when you when you're up there, but then if you lose that edge again, you're like, oh, you know what? I just don't want to do it again. <laughs> No, well, I, I I remember you teaching me a year or so ago how to drive one of these properly, and um, you know it makes a makes a lot of difference. So we've got um, got Dan we're in on pole. Dan we're out front now. Yeah, he's out front yeah. with the fastest lap now, so he is. We missed that, but uh, yeah, Craig Horsch seems to be just doing enough here uh, to keep ahead of the arm at the moment. He's in the arm with John Johnson, so. John's down in 22nd in the moment, and he's not like that because he was really hoping to put a bit oh, of pressure oh, on Craig. Oh, who we lost there? Have uh, we just lost uh, we have lost uh, Scott McFall, I think. Well, that was Peter Skinner. That was Scott, was it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just clicked the wrong one. Oh, oh, that was Eric and Scott had a coming together there. Oh, no. Oh, wow, big. Big, big crash. Big off, but uh, yeah, no damage. Oh, he's went back to pits. Yeah, it's gone straight into pits. Wasn't yeah. messing about there, straight into pits. I'm wondering if that's. Uh, don't know what really happened there, but I might actually jump into Chase here at the moment and watch this again, if possible. Uh, just oh! Eric just. No, really. Eric didn't give him much room, but I'm not sure he had a lot of choice, did he? Yeah, I think he just started uh, to push the nose a wee bit. I know Eric will be yeah. a, a clean racer now, so I'm sure it wouldn't have meant any harm by that, but when you're racing so close with these these boys, accidents happen, but shake hands, uh, a bit of decorum, and there's always the next race, feature race again, so... Yeah, yeah very, un very unfortunate there. That's... Yeah. Um, uh, Lee Ryan here in fourth here now, hoping to benefit from these boys in front, with Josh on in front, so only half a second behind, so he's in that sweet spot for the, the draft up the back straight, so same thing again, you're going to get a lot of swapping positions with these boys, so uh, yeah, it's really, we're just halfway through the first heat at the moment, so still 10 minutes left to uh, chalk up a few positions, so if they can keep them on the, on the tar, keep them off the grass and the curbs, yeah, it's really anyone's race now. Yeah, I, I, I think this is a, actual good demonstration of how it's just not about being the fastest. You know, we've got two of the fastest drivers, you know, lost position from one and two. Um, Eric saved it back in seventh, but um, yeah, we lost Scott. There's uh, Sean Weber had a bit of a spin Sean there. Is, yeah. Oh. Kevin Woodmore, he's, I think he's in the Pro-Am for a possibility for positions for the championship too. It's a close, yeah, it's close battle. So, so um, well it's Peter Woodmore actually, um, who's, uh, yeah, Kevin. Kevin's down in ninth, oh. so he's not really going to get anything out of it. It's Peter Woodmore who's in with a chance. Jack Holland, Lee Rylands, Peter Woodmore in the Pro-Ams. Pro Oh, yes, yes. Very hard to keep a track of, so... <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, out of that lot, I think, um, yeah, Peter Woodmore is, is doing really well at the moment. He's going to earn a few points from this one, where he is. Um, it's just up Jack behind Eric Rollenberg. Rollenberg now, what do you see this? The the draft effect up the back straight, so... Yeah. It's strong here, but Eric knows where to put the car. I oh. will. Well, is Peter going to go for the, uh, no. the bus stop? I yeah. don't think so, but I, I, if that was me now, I wouldn't have been given Eric a space. I'd have been going up the inside of him, all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Peter's not a slow driver by any means. No, um, no. You know, he might be in Pro-Am, but he's he's definitely on the edge of the, the pro times uh, in terms of lap time. Um, I think he just... Oh, and Eric nearly gives him a little touch there as they come down into the toe. Yeah, Peter would be a very clean, respectful racer now. He would know yep. where he can make a move and where not to make a move, really. Um, As Eric goes up the inside of Dan there. Yeah, you're, you're going to have a lot of swapping positions. <laughs> yeah, Peter's having a look down the inside. Oh, Peter's going for it. Peter's going for it on the inside. He's got him. He's taken, he's taken Dan Forster. That is just absolutely brilliant bit of driving, that was. So, it, but, oh, wow, very good. And um, what's done me here is Peter Woodmore um, has changed livery colours since the last time I commented. 
and that's what's thrown me off a little bit but um but yeah so we have peter woodmore that we're following here giving us a bit of exciting racing see taking kevin. the pros on yeah kevin will be a bit of a spin there as well uh, yeah just behind ah. them it's a bit unfortunate that puts kevin back in 15. he's recovered i can see him coming down the back straight as we come through into the 90. Oh, Eric's gone a bit wide. You're going to have Peter now oh, no. on the draft now on Eric. And yeah. I'd say he is not going to give him the, the same respect this time around. Who knows? He should have enough of a gap now, enough of a, to put a bit of pressure on Eric coming into the bus stop. So. You think Peter wants this? Peter really wants this, doesn't he? Oh, Peter. Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on, Peter. Go on, push. <laughs> I mean, there's a possible 90 points. It just depends where Lee and uh, uh, Lee Ryland is. Well, and, you know uh, what? And, and Jack Allen come. Peter, know? I suppose, in a way, isn't really racing Eric. He's racing his own uh, pro am group. So yeah, he, yeah, yeah. I yeah. suppose he can see that. Well, you have Lee Ryland in front of him, but. If off, yeah. Sorry, I missed that. I didn't realise Lee, Lee was up there. Yeah. Um, He's a bit of a leading them, but yeah, I suppose points. He may be happy. But what Peter before. needs to do, yeah, what Peter needs to stick to the back of Eric and maybe not chase him down, but use his draft and everything. Um, we're back on Dan out front. Uh, Daniel Martin behind him. He's just put in a two oh four. That's a magnificent, um, a magnificent lap. Yeah. The so we've got Daniel Wareham. Yeah, with the, the whole uh, draft effect who you could gain maybe two or three tenths of a second. You know, if you if you position your car in the right time across the finish line and up the back straight, you know, it can really help you with them fastest times. But yeah, he's within that half a second now of Daniel Wareham. So, you know, same thing again, up the back straight into bus stop. It's, uh, if you can get the inside of that and put the car and make it stick, you can make it awkward for the person in front. But... Yeah, Daniel Wareham, I don't think he'll give him a, give him an inch. He will No. Well, the only times I've seen that happen is like when Dan's been forced into a mistake. Uh, or maybe not even forced, he's just made one of his own volition. Um, like just from the from the pressure of it or just from a lack of concentration, he doesn't give much away. And he takes him across, so it's Dan Wearham from Daniel Well and Josh Arnold, Lee Rylands and Eric Ronobo to take your top five there. And uh, Lee Rylands now is uh, really trying to push on the back of Josh Arnold. Yeah. And staying with the top three, which is, which is hugely impressive. Yeah, so right. Lee Rylands, it looks like, is going to... You know, if he can do this in the next one, he's within a good chance of um, of taking the crown from Jack, basically. Yeah, I'm sure he'll be happy with that position. Um, I just see some of the boys saying you have a bit of static on your mic, so I think it turned you down on Discord a wee bit there. So let us know in the chat if Sean is a wee bit better there, or if I need to set it down a wee bit more. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how that fares out. It's very hard to keep a track of all this audio stuff. <laughs> really bad state. Uh, might have been Discord, I don't know. We'll, we'll take a chance on it there, maybe. You've just got that sort of a voice, you know. <laughs> uh, I would, yeah, I, I, sometimes I, I can talk like a Dalek. I wouldn't have a voice for television, put it that way. <laughs> the same with a voice for a radio, so there you go. Maybe not even one of them either. Where is JT now? Him and he's sitting way back in 21st at the moment. He'll not be happy with that, sorry that. So he's sitting a minute plus down on the boys in front, but uh, yeah, a couple of retirements there. Um, Scott McFall, Sean Atkins, and Jason Brooks out. So well, I wonder will they rejoin us on the feature race? You know, hopefully the boys come back again and see what they're going to do. Someone's gone on up at the front, up the front there. Um, it looks like we've got Eric Randerberg in first place and Peter mm. Woodmore in second. Calling my time screen or have uh, I missed something? Let's see now. We'll jump back up here at the front here. 
Um, I don't think. Oh. I, I, no, because I tell you what that is is when I jump down, SDK does a funny thing, and I over overlay. It does it messes up with the timing when you go way down the field. So uh, I don't ah. know. It's sort of a we glitching it. Could be me. That's right. I learned that after my first stream. I was like, what? Why, 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 why is all these boys moving positions <laughs> up at the front? They jump up and said, oh no, they haven't moved. <laughs> We're all right. All right, well, we'll um, I've, uh, I've turned off my YouTube stream in the hope to save some bandwidth and see if that stops my crackling. But uh, nothing's changed this end since we started. So we'll see how we go. Yeah, we'll see if we fare out. Uh, just, I just turned this Am I clear enough to you, Mark? Yes, yeah, so, uh, it seemed clear on me. Uh, I can't see yeah. an issue on my side, so... Okay. The only thing is, is it could be blown Discord out audio, so I can hear you perfectly, so I don't know. We'll carry on regardless, anyway. <laughs> we, we will, and... Uh, uh, sorry, guys. Turn me game down on the back of me mic. I could try whispering. How's that? Um, right. You have uh, Christopher Smith oh, there. Christopher Smith. In yeah. behind Craig Corish too. So, yeah, these all these boys are just all nice wee groups there. Same thing again. The slipstream and the the draft up the back straights and all. Um, it's very hard to get any sort of a a gap or pull away from people. So. Yes. Yeah, we. I mean, if we if we look at the gaps, I mean, Dan, uh, Daniel Wyram and Daniel Martin, uh, two tenths, less than two tenths between them. But everyone else, there's um, there's, there's there's quite some gaps out there, um, which does make it hard to to get some battling in, unless you can get the draft, of course. And. Uh Daniel Martin going We're for the board. outside, and uh, yeah, Daniel Warren. Oh, Aaron here we go. Will hold the inside. <laughs> and he will hold the inside, I assume. A little bit of tapping, but uh, yeah, these boys seem to be made of us. Oh, and Dan yeah, Daniel Warren beat him through. <laughs> yeah, a bit of side by side, but uh, if there's anyone. Come could, down the chute. If there any of these boys can run side by side for a full lap, it'd be Daniel Warren and Daniel Mar and Martin. Look at this. Oh, he lost it. No. Absolutely lost it. Daniel Martin. Oh, oh. Was no, that was pure pressure, was it? I don't know. Was it a bit of net code or what it was? But uh, we'll just jump back in here now for a second and see. Oh, just a wee bit of a touch from the rear from Daniel Wareham. But unfortunately, don't know whether he's seen he was that close or what, but. I'm sure Daniel Martin will not be too happy with that. No, I think uh, there may be a few words considering how close they are, but um, I yeah. think uh, I, I think um, Dan Wareham will cry unintentional. Absolutely. Yeah, a little bit unfortunate now. In fairness, uh, Daniel Martin very fast driver. He's still there with the fastest lap at the moment, sitting in fifth position. So yeah. Yeah, that's just, I think that's the last lap there now at the moment, so uh, I think Barney should be waiting. As they come flight. across the line. I think this yeah. is Barney should be, yeah. Yeah, and uh, flash of the lights from Dan Wareham to let us know it is the finish with Lee Rylands, Josh Arnold, Eric Rothberg. As always, he's in the top five. Daniel Martin, Peter Woodmore comes in in sixth. Dan Forrester, Scott Kostrick, Craig Corish, Christopher Smith, Rob Sutherland. Uh, Jack Holland in 12th, Martin Shirley in 13th, Sean Weber 14th, Terry Atkinson in 15th, Neil Kennedy 16th, Peter Sikar 17th, Kevin Woodmore in 18th, Adrian Hadfield 19th, uh, and then we're waiting for Scott Brown to come across the line. Did John Johnson get back out there or has he retired? No, he's still, our JT still going. He's still there. going. Yeah, he he so must have picked a couple of passes up at the bus stop, bus stop on the way past there. Ah, uh, that'll be what it is. Yeah. The old age pensioners didn't didn't have the right fare. Yeah, had to stop and pick them up. <laughs> <laughs> I think Craig may have secured. I mean, it's not over until um, until Barney waves the flag in the in the in the feature race, but. Um, 
Yeah, Craig may have secured Ams. And uh, Lee Rylands has made significant ground up um, there for the pro Ams on Jack Holland. Um, so has Peter Woodmore. So, uh, yeah, be good to see what the outcome there is. Yeah, but unfortunately for Daniel Martin with uh, the wee tap from Dan Wareham, I'm sure it wasn't malicious, but uh, yeah, a bit of hard racing on that. Uh, the same thing, that draft is super strong and it's very hard to drop anyone or try and get that bit of a gap. So I know uh, Daniel Wareham said last week he was dreading this, but uh, yeah, one of the things, hey, I'm just trying to get up my results now at the moment, but doesn't seem to want to come up so uh, yeah we're 50 seconds into the warm-up so no results showing up here on my side but yeah that's our I don't know what's happened there oh hang on a sec here heat one maybe that might help yeah there we go we got there in the end never mind uh, so heat one, let's run through. We've got Dan Wareham in first and uh, already secured the championship. Lee Rylands in second, the important win for Lee uh, as he is, uh, what, 30, uh, 30 odd points behind Jack Holland. So he secures a few points there uh, to potentially knock Jack Holland off in Pro Am. And then we've got Josh Arnold, Eric Ronenberg, Daniel Martin, Peter Woodmore trying to make ground up as well um in the prime which is really good dan forster in seventh and in eighth um we've got scott kostrick craig corish in ninth christopher smith in 10th rob sutherland in 11 12th is jack holland martin shirley in 13th sean weber in 14th terry atkinson in 15th neil kennedy 16 Peter Sidcar, 17th, and Kevin Woodmore in 18th. Um, then, uh, just behind them, Adrian Hadfield in 19th, Scott Brown in 20th, John Johnson in 21st. Not bad enough, John, to catch up, Craig. But there we go. Uh, Scott McFall, unfortunate, um, didn't finish uh, with Sean Atkinson and Jason Brooks. Uh, six to eight laps behind the leaders so we wait for them to do their warm-up i'm going to go and disconnect my mic and reconnect my mic to see whether it improves the sound and um, then we'll be back to you with the feature race yeah we'll take a wee short break here and we'll join back in for the feature race
jump in. And we're back in for the feature race. We're live and we have... Uh, See who's out Peter from Woodmore in pole uh, position. Got, yeah, Peter Woodmore in pole, Dan, Daniel Martin. So we have a reverse grid. We've got Daniel Martin, uh, Eric Ronenberg, Josh Arnold, Lee Rylands, and Dan Wierham. Uh, I believe that gives us the reverse there, top six. And uh, just waiting for them to, to line up. So Peter has got a really good chance here. Because he's uh, automatically ahead of Lee Rylands and Jack Holland's back in 12. If Peter can hold it at the front, uh, he's got a really, really good chance. So let's see how they go. Green, green, green. And they're away. A bit of a slow start by Peter. Is that... Yeah. You can ask Eric to do him some favours. Yeah, Eric hold might off give, Lee for him. give him a wee push up the straight river. Can't imagine it though. Eric will want to win this as much as <laughs> as much as anyone. All well, seems to be clean through the uh, first first corner. Yeah. Right? Uh, just watch the cold tires uh, first lap or two and get used to the low down force again. I'm sure they'll uh, remember from the the heat heat one, and uh, hopefully they can make it all clean for a couple of laps anyway. Getting used to everyone running these blinking TRG liveries. <laughs> yeah, the the sim, a lot of SimTech liveries too out there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah, Eric keeping them pretty close to Peter, and uh, he's going to make a wee move now. By the looks of it, in the lame so go, yeah. Just uh, make it easy. It's Peter. Peter should be smart. Hopefully, hold that position in behind Eric now. Don't let him get away, and then just sit in his draft because. Eric is a man that will be fit to tow you along. Uh, yeah, he doesn't want to. He, he shouldn't be fighting him at all because he's got Lee Rylands right behind him, um, just over half a second. So, a smart play here, if he can, is for Peter to sit on the back of Eric, uh, just so Lee Rylands can't make or make an advantage of that of that tow he's going to get. But he's gone white. He, oh no, he's cut off. Oh, so Lee Rylands was trying to do the sh do the undercut there on the corner and didn't quite pull that off. Yeah, uh, yeah. Peter's just running outside now, at a second behind Eric. So he's just run, just dropping outside that uh, draft zone, um, and it's going to make it really easy for Lee now. Come up the back yeah. straight, and uh, yeah, it'll it should be just easy work for for Lee to put a bit of pressure on Peter. Um, really is the last of the lake breakers and uh, you get that draft up the back straight it's, there's really nothing you can do with it um, just hold the inside or make it awkward for the boy behind you just uh, yeah I think we'll have so it. the only challenge is he's got Dan Wareham behind him and Dan, Daniel Martin behind Dan Wareham uh, so they're gonna they're gonna be trying to get past Lee Rylands so yeah. Peter can just hold off Lee for a lap or so and get da get the two Dans to get a gap in there. Yeah, there you go. See, Dan, Dan Wareham straight through on Lee Rylands. Oh, I nearly lost it. Uh, Managed to hold it though. Yeah, bit of drifting. Everyone loves a bit of sideways action. <laughs> <laughs> it just shows how good they are. And uh, yeah, and Lee Rylands. Yeah, it falls foul to uh, Daniel Martin taking him now as well. Yeah, so, Daniel Martin yeah, in behind Dan Wareham now. Will he will yeah. he uh, repay the favour from Heat One? Uh, this I hope they can try and keep it clean. But uh, yeah, with Daniel Martin sitting behind Dan Wareham, it's not going to be easy up the back straight. But Daniel uh, Dan Wareham will know all about it. So let's hope they can keep it clean. A bit of respect for the race and have a good have a good twenty five minutes. This looks really good for Peter Woodmore now. Um, I'm, I'm not sure he's going to have enough points to to, to, to jump Jack and, and Lee, but uh, in terms of uh, in terms of finishing for this race, he's got a couple of faster drivers. Oh, he just slight off track there, but uh, yeah, he's, he's he's got a decent buffer now back to Lee Rylands. 
Um, and um, where's Jack Holland? Jack Holland's all the way back in 13th, so he hasn't got to worry about Jack. And we're on board with Lee here as he uh, tries to hold on to the back of Christopher Smith. Christopher is a very clever driver, a fast driver in his own right. But the toe is just going to give Lee an advantage. Coming up through the S's, yeah, cut in, onto the back straight. Tucked in behind that back bumper just and uh, keep, her, keep her pinned just down the straight. And uh, see if you can get that Although, inside lane. Yeah, I wouldn't try fancy trying to overtake this Simtech car. It's going through the bus stop though, would you? Is that Peter Woodmore? Yeah, he's, he's let the faster driver through. Oh, Christopher, oh, great view here. So Lee Rylands is now on the back bumper of Peter Woodmore <coughs> with Christopher Smith on the outside. Yeah, a bit of fighting between the Pro-Am boys here at the front. But uh, it's good to see these boys sitting up at the front with the, the Pro drivers too, Eric and Daniel. Yeah. Uh, all very close here, so um, yeah, some good racing. I don't know what's happened. <coughs> Lee Ryland's there, breaking on the outside. Peter Woodmore just comes across his front. Oh, it's getting a bit aggressive now. Peter Woodmore moves across to the right again. Yeah, it's uh, all close here. There's a nice big group of cars here. So, yeah, and then you have uh, Craig Corey stuck in there too. So he is. Yeah, he'll be. I see. He might have the the arms wrapped up to with a good result here. Him and JT was oh, fighting that out. So. But, um, yeah, he's leading the arms. So yeah, if he wants to, maybe he might can fight these boys. You just don't know. I don't think it's in his blood by the looks of this. He's trying to take on Lee Rylands. Which would do Peter Woodmore a favour. Yeah, he just gets the outside. Uh, and Lee Rylands has got it. Lee Rylands has taken Peter. But <clears throat> we come down the 90 and then... Yeah, if there's ever a position you want to lose, it would be on the pit straight and then really come back at them hard now up the, the back straight. Uh, into the bus stop, um, yeah, maybe uh, Peter let him have that, but uh, yeah, bit of a big gap now. Yeah, he's just left a little bit too much of a gap between them, but yeah, uh, he can come back again from that, so he can, he's only two tenths of a second, so. Yeah, look how they concertina up as they come into the bus stop, and Lee Rylands, couple of wheels off the ground, but managed to hold it, Peter Woodmore. <clears throat> under pressure from Peter Sidcar, who is not um, uh, an amateur driver by any means, is Peter. <laughs> um, pretty nifty in his own right. And up on front, Eric is just putting a nice wee gap with him and Daniel Martin. So uh, Dan Wareham is not far behind Dan Martin. Yeah, about half a second there. I've I've seen these second and a half gaps disappear though from Eric. <laughs> Unfortunately. Yeah, with the <laughs> Dan Wareham fight with Daniel Martin, it could hopefully it, it it could should make it a bit easier for Eric. You know, if uh, Martin's uh, trying to defend against Daniel Wareham, you, know, you you start to lose that bit of momentum. Uh, you lose a lot. Yeah. You're sort of racing the lane, and you know your your optimal lane, where you're trying to protect your position. Sorry about that. I have my microphone. So um, with that there, yeah, Eric's that second and a half out in the lead. Dan Martin's just losing the the draft now. So he is. He's just outside that sort of the zone. So not unless Eric makes a mistake now. Um, uh, it could be hard to to close that gap, second and a half. But then again, and and it's possible. There's another. Uh, 13 minutes or so of the first race, or so this race now. Oh, no, no, sorry, 17 minutes. <laughs> Me and my maths. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a long way to go. Uh, jump on to Jack Mulholland here, who's close to Craig Corrish. Uh, going up the pit uh, back straight. 
all really close to these boys bunching up again just the draft yeah so Jack Jack hasn't got to really do much whoa Ooh. as he goes <laughs> Sean Webber that was just went through a, a dive and Craig Corish went off as well yeah, I was looking in two places at once I don't know what happened there with them boys there was just a bit of a I think mean, he just couldn't make it. Yeah, I don't know if it'll be tap or what, but uh, yeah, yeah, not like that. Now you have a, a nice wee slowdown for a while on that, and uh, yeah, come back again and try and get uh, get back up that wee group again, hopefully. Yeah, it's hateful the slowdowns. A couple of seconds, and it's, it feels like an eternity trying to, to shake it off. Okay, yeah. But yeah, all these boys oh. is very, very close. A lot of, a lot of close battling here. Lee Ryland, uh, vital between him and Peter Skater in front. So, yeah, you have a wee group again there, and uh, yeah, just uh, very hard to make that move. Uh, with with uh, Peter Woodmore leading the pro am group here, Peter Woodmore, Lee Rylands, and Jack Holland, and they're literally one, two, and three. Um, in this race in the division uh, Jack Holland's just got to play it sensible not take any chances oh and who did we lose there that would think that was Peter Woodmore yeah that commentator's was curse <laughs> yeah we would have a tap there and a bit of a skid I just don't know exactly what happened there so just jump back in here yeah Lee Ryland yeah. seems to give him a wee tap Ooh. and turned him unfortunate but oh that was really unfortunate Really I think, unfortunate. I think Lee just had a very good run into the corner and must have mistaken it just. Right. There's a so that puts us. Josh and Peter Skidder. Uh, or sorry, Josh, and who's ahead of him? Daniel Martin. With, uh, Daniel Martin Dan and Dan Wera. Yeah, these boys is uh, all fighting out. <laughs> very, very close. Not, not split them. Oh, oh, no. oh no! Oh goodness! I'd like to see that. That was um, a bit of a heavy-handed push there. I don't know. That was a bit of payback or what? I'm sure <laughs> they're not going to be happy with that. But uh, yeah, we'll jump back in here. Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't give it an I, inch you know there, what? was he, Daniel Martin? Yeah, I think Dan, where, um, I think Daniel Martin hoped he was going to turn in a wee bit earlier there and get onto the curb. Yeah. There was plenty of room there for Daniel Wareham to keep him a tight of the curb, but I, there was nothing malicious with that there. That was unfortunate. I'm sure <laughs> Daniel Wareham yeah, would not be too I, happy. I've just, I've just seen, yeah, I've, I've just seen that in the replay, and, and Dan Wareham doesn't really do anything wrong no um, nor does Daniel, Daniel Martin but you know no. I think he was more anticipating Wareham to turn in a wee bit and hit the yes. apex I don't know whether I agree. he just missed the breaking spot and a wee bit too hot in uh, but yeah that was a bit unfortunate I don't, I don't think there was any malicious in it at all but yeah no. um, where did Dan Wareham end up at the end of it all uh, you yeah. have 14th and 15th there oh the way down there my goodness but uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dan Wareham he'll not mind you know, he, he's the pro series wrapped up so he has there um, yeah just leaves it a bit open out the front you have uh, Eric running board now th over three and a half seconds out in the front and uh, yeah to Josh Arnold and then there's a big gap between that and Peter Skidder so yeah they're outside anyone of that drift or draft effect so I think as long as there's no incidents or whatever, you're, there's nothing really that any of these boys can do. But yeah, it's race done, yeah. For, yeah, for, for, you've for Eric. Jack and Lee there swapping positions. Um, bit of side by side here, so a bit yeah. of t tight battling again. See, if I were Jack, I wouldn't. I just wouldn't be pushing this. But then that's maybe why I never in Jack's position. <laughs> yeah, well, Lee. you have the two of them sitting there and the pro arms there. They're probably just going for, yeah, overall win. They're uh, hard battling, and yeah, they seem to be a bit of respectful racing there. So, yeah, hey, it's when you see that car in front of you, uh, 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, it's yeah, for, yeah, it's, yeah. It's very you hard. Just to, go for it. It's very, uh, very hard to resist that urge, just not to overtake. You're thinking, oh, race me, only oh, No, I'm going for it. <laughs> I'm going for uh, it. Yeah, it's mine. <laughs> yeah. I think it's, uh, you, you. You wouldn't call yourself a racer if you didn't. <laughs> no, no, that's uh, absolutely that. And um, and they got Sean Weber out behind him as well, who's usually up front. Um, so I don't know whether. Sean's a bit off the boil this week, but we haven't seen a lot from him. Mm, don't know what happened there now. Um, yeah, another Simtech driver. Usually, I think he, he was pretty high up there on the, the practice times and qualifying at the start, so yeah, I don't know what happened. Uh, so Eric's now about three seconds in front. Uh, from Josh Arnold, Peter Sikar, Lee Rylands, and then Jack Hollands, your top five at the moment. Yeah, Eric's uh, just holding that. Well, Eric, I think, slowed down a little bit. Oh, has he made a mistake? I don't know what's happened there. He's, he dropped a lot of time. Did he slow down? I don't know what's happened with Eric. Um, maybe he just wants to battle it out with Josh for a while. Well. I know these boys be in yeah, Discord together. Fun. Uh, yeah, just work together maybe they're they're really I suppose in a way Eric's out in front he's not doing a full season uh, for uh, season 8 he's not doing a full schedule so he's sort of concentrating more on his real life racing too so um, I suppose he doesn't mind he he would rather have a bit of a battle with Josh probably I know they're both on Discord so I'm sure they'll be talking back and forth to each other so just uh, something for a bit of fun swap a few positions make it a bit more interesting out in front I suppose yeah yeah, yeah. When you've got a three-second gap and and you're just doing this for a bit of fun, it's not really that much fun, is it? When you're just running around on your own, <laughs> might as well be uh, time trialing it. I do some of my best races when I'm out in front of my own. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I, I don't. I rarely get that opportunity. <laughs> Yeah. Usually the back on your own. <laughs> you know, as long as I'm out front and have a good gap, then I can start to relax. But whenever you start seeing them cars, especially that pink car of Eric Rodenberg's and uh, mm. Dan Worms in <laughs> behind you, then you start to sweat and you can make silly mistakes. But uh, yeah, I did enjoy racing all these boys. So I did. And, uh, oh, who knows if uh, I might uh, do next season if I, if I take the interest. I'd, I'd like to have interest in doing it, so we'll see. Will you uh, stick an entry in yourself for it, or are you you not a big fan? Oh, well, you do the GRs, don't you? you? Know, I, I you I used to do the um, F4s. I've been doing the GT3s this season, but um, I you know I've I've got to choose a car and stick to it for a while to get to try and get faster. That's what I've got to do. Um, uh, a bit of variation isn't too bad. You know what I actually took out the day this morning for the first like I haven't done really any racing this last couple of months was the the Audi ninety. Oh right. Oh my goodness, because <laughs> there's like a practice for the Road Road America five hundred. So I thought yep. I'd go out and do a couple of laps of that there now. And yeah, the whole clutch and ch you have to have a clutch and change gears and all that. But uh, yeah, it was a bit interesting. I think. Uh, it made me sweat now, you know, you're you're sort of trying to time your clutch and your gear changes, you know, so that you actually do change gear. So uh it's something different. You know, I thought I thought it was quite quite cool, but uh Karen never really raced them before, but uh yeah, we'll see. Maybe it might might do a wee bit, but I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> I do my racing in VR and you cannot beat running the open wheelers in VR. It is just um immense fun, basically. Um and so the F4s and now the Super Lights, I've, I've really enjoyed both of those recently. But, um, you know, that's where all the youngsters are, and I'm, I'm not that much of a youngster. <laughs> <laughs> me, me I get both. beat in wherever I run, to be honest. Oh, JT's in the pits, I don't know what JT's happened. JT's in the pits? Yeah, I don't know what happened there. He's uh, bowed out five laps ago, so I uh, don't know what's happened there. So. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. We'll have to get him into the booth afterwards. Hopefully, he comes in for a wee chat and uh, see how he gets on or what happened. Eric's still out in front, and uh, Josh just sitting nicely in behind him there, just on the, as I would say, the DRS zone <laughs> up the back straight. Yeah, absolutely. So just now, yeah. what now? What is the trick to driving these fast, Mark? Um, because they are. 
to me they're like a they're like a smaller version of a touring car and they do tend to bounce a bit when you get them up right on the edge so you know we've got guys here doing two minute five seconds and guys doing two six like a full second behind what you know what's the difference i think it's a lot to do with the weight transfer on the car it's getting the nose in that braking i suppose in a way it, it's slower in quicker out in a way but getting the weight transfer and uh, they're like these boys out of the front like they're running these cars the whole time um, if you can find if you find yourself starting to bounce going in the corner or start to wash out a wee bit too wide then you, you're pushing just a wee bit too hard and it's it's easier to pull it back a notch you know and then try and hit the apexes and get the car to transfer the weight onto the nose and get the nose into the corner and get the power on to come out of it and then you're sort of flighting with the traction control so you're you know you're, you're waiting for the car just to be on the limit of starting to put the tail out so you're sort of floating them around the corner a wee bit but uh, I did I did and do enjoy driving these cars and uh, yeah I think uh, if I'm still racing I, I like to get an entry in for next season season 9 so uh, and they're, go <coughs> they're going to wear on now the PCC as well rounds so you're going to have all week now to practice the before on the PCC before yeah. the Tanzo on a Sunday night so it should well it gives people the opportunity to do a bit of you know racing with other people on track and you know in your eye rating as well so you'll be you should hopefully learn a lot more from it uh, a bit of close racing with other people that's you know close to your your own eye rating so i think it, it'll help a lot with the racing and uh, hopefully it uh, makes it more interesting and hopefully it, it gets these boys further back you know like christopher smith all them boys like they're 15 seconds behind now uh, hopefully you're going to see that pack get tighter and have more interesting racing and the other thing it should hopefully make a lot more cleaner racing you know where people yep. can understand the car oh, Eric's just lost it there Mark sorry to interrupt oh, <laughs> oh, Eric was being a bit too ambitious in being kind yeah, and he just, just spun it I'm take a wee look back in here with Eric here oh he we tapped oh. there with the uh, who was that in front? That was, uh, was that Lee Rylands in front of him? No, that was um, Simtech, Josh Arnold. Josh Arnold in front of him. Yeah, so what happened there now? Just missed his breaking spot. We bit, we bit of a love tap and. Yeah. A bit unfortunate, but uh, yeah. I think uh, Jeepers Eric's way down to 10th position now, in behind Daniel Martin. So, yeah, that's not. Uh, Daniel Martin would not like that. Um, it's not going to be easy to keep that pink car behind. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, just uh, if there's ever a position you don't want him to slot in, just tight in behind you. But, um, Mind you. Yeah. But um, I'll tell you what that's done. Jack Holland is now in third. I think Jack has secured um, Pro Am there. Um, yeah. I don't want to call this too early. I mean, we've only got a couple of minutes to go, but it. Looks like we've got Dan Weir and winner of the, pro, uh, the pros, obviously. Jack Holland looking like he's going to win the pro ams as it stands. And Craig Corish is going to take the am. Oh, well, interesting. Very much looks um, like how it's going to be. Jack is pretty close to Peter Skidder in front, so um, he could maybe get another position. He'd be, well, sitting on a, on a third uh, on the grid for the will be all right but i'm sure yeah. um, he'll uh, maybe try and get that second position but you've uh, yeah. jack mulholland or sean weber in behind now there's sean coming to into the mix of it now he's starting to move a few positions uh, got a couple of freebies that john would say there so uh sean might uh, put a bit of pressure on these boys in front too a couple of laps left maybe a lap or two left now we're 23 and a half minutes into the feature race so I'm sure Barney will be waving the white flag shortly. Let's see. Oh, it's very close now throughout the pack.
Got Kevin Woodmore here, battling out with Neil Kennedy. The inside there. Just oh, just no. Yeah, that oh, no. So, so who did he? Take took out, he took out a um, Tanzo car as well, where it looks it. Oh, almost not a just good rejoin there. Don't know what happened there. Just doesn't come up my time and table yet now. But yeah, that was a bit unfortunate. Um, that curb, just going through the bus stop. Um, yeah, not easy. Oh, there's uh, oh, Scott Kostrup. Was that Peter and Scott? Oh my goodness, that car just dug into the grass. <laughs> And uh, we have Josh up in front there. I th think we'll not be too far away. This could be the final lap. I think Barney might have been waving his flag the last one. So you have Josh out in front, four and a half seconds. So I'm sure he'll be happy with that. Another Simtac win. And Baz says, Audi's epic, H. Patron, full away. <laughs> <laughs> She's a bit of a handful. And Barney there, he's waving his black and white flag. Here we so. go. So we got. Josh Arnold across the line, Peter Sikar, Jack Holland secures his win there. Very happy with that, shaking the, shaking the tail. Sean Webber comes in fourth, Lee Rylands in fifth. Craig Corish to take Anne, Dan Forster in seventh. Christopher Smith in eighth, Adrian Hadfield just coming across the line now. Ninth, Sean Atkinson and Rob Sutherland, 10th and 11th. As <laughs> Scott Brown and Scott Kostrick across the line, and there's old Eric back in 14th. Poor old Eric, all that work early on. Yeah, and, he, um, he had a bit, a bit had it handy out in the front now, but that uh, he might regret slowing down to let Josh get close the yeah. gap. But uh, yeah, all, <laughs> all in a good a bit of good racing, I suppose. Uh, it was unfortunate, and in a way, yeah. uh, he, he took himself out, I suppose. So. Yeah, that's just that. Um, and then we got Kevin and Peter and Terry Atkinson there. Uh, that rolls us out because everyone else, Neil Kennedy, Daniel Martin, Dan, w Dan Wyrum didn't finish in the end. Martin Shirley and John Johnson um, gave up earlier in the race. Yeah. So, but, scores on the doors. Yeah, that was a bit interesting racing night. Um, yeah. That was a bit of, bit of fun now, but... Um, See, have we got the results for the heat eight two? Just not up yet. I oh, know we're heat two. We need to go to feature. <laughs> and that is our feature race winner, Josh Arnold, with Peter Skidder in second, Jack Mahon third, and Sean Webber in fourth, Lee Rayland in fifth, and Craig Corish sixth, Dan Foster in seventh, and Christopher Smith in eighth. Adrian Hatfield up in ninth. Good man, Adrian. Uh, Sean Atkinson in 10th and Rob Sunderland 11, Scott Brown in 12th and Scott Kostrick in 13th with uh, Eric Ronenberg in 14th, Kevin Woodmore 15th, Peter Woodmore in 16th and Terry Atkinson in 17th, Daniel Martin a lap down in 18th and I do believe the rest of the boys didn't know Dan Wareham was 20th, Martin Shirley 21st, John Johnson 22nd, Scott McFall 23rd and Jason Briggs 24th so don't think them boys finished the race now but yeah that was, it looked fun there so it did, I'd say there's a lot yeah, of that was really good. I thought I'd say there's a lot of sweaty boys there so there is <laughs> but um, yeah I mean we'll have to wait till the official scores come in but the way I read it is that uh, Jack Holland has got the Pro-Am win um, it should be Craig Corish uh, with the am win and um and dan Wareham had the win before the race anyway but um has got the pros so they're your winners um i won't call out what i think the other results are because um i could be slightly wrong because there were some gaps there but i think uh that's how we read it if you want to see the full results then nip over to the uh tanzo racing discord and um yeah come and have a look and uh we also have the results up on something called irleaguemanager.net <clears throat> and you'll find Tanzo in the menu there and you can follow the results there. It's on irleaguemanager.net and you'll see all the results when they get published. 
Yeah, when you come to Discord, to the Tanzo, stick in an entry for the Season 9's coming up now in a couple of weeks' time. Um, it's a £5 entry and it's been broadcast by Swifty. Good commentator, uh, I know him well and good man to speak to. So uh, it's already shaping up already. I think they've 20 plus already signed up for the next season. So uh, we're going to stick in maybe a wee fun race uh, in a week or two's time as well. So um, yeah, there's always a bit of racing on Tanzo. We have the GT3 as well running there too and the Formula Lights, aren't they? Super Formula Lights? Yeah, Formula Lights. Yeah, we have casual racing and Super, super Formula Lights. If you um, if you go to Tanzo Racing Group dot co dot uk, um, you'll get the uh, the link to the um, to the Tanzo too. So uh, to 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 the Discord from there, which is probably the easiest way to get it. Yeah, and uh, there's always someone here in Tanzo. Uh, there's always someone there to talk to and ask any questions. And there's always uh, you always have someone that'll help you out. Uh, the do pride themselves on bringing in new young drivers, novice drivers, and you know, trying to push them forward. And yeah, we don't mind. They've they've um, they've a very broad uh, I rating skill. You know, from four, five, six k drivers down to one k. So you know, you'll, you'll always find someone to race with in here. Like you, you get your wee group and everything. Um, but uh, yeah, it was an interesting night now and. We'll see if we can get maybe an interview or some of these boys maybe to jump in the interview room. I don't know. There's no, yeah. no, no takers yet. They could be uh, reviewing back some of these uh, replays, I'm sure. But, um, yeah, that was interesting. Stewarding, and, uh, stewarding them themselves. Yeah. It looks like J- JT had a jump start on the second race, <laughs> oh. which would, would account for why he... He didn't feel like carrying on much. I've just seen that message now in, in, in Discord. And everyone shouting out about my mic. I know about my mic. I do apologise. But we don't quite know why it's my mic. I don't understand um, that myself now. Because like for me, it's coming through clear. I, it did come through correctly at the very start. Before we even started the stream. So uh, I looked at the set and all there. And I, I really don't understand it. Because... Uh, for me it's clear um it must be something on my side with obs or something but uh very very strange i apologize for that i did have we listen it is unfortunate the crackling but you can still hear you it, it is a shame i i enjoyed the season i enjoyed uh commentating with you sean yeah, it's been I, good, good yeah crack. it's been an experience so it has um but uh, i want to thank uh, john and rob for setting this up for the or talk will be into it I suppose and uh, yeah I have to thank Tanzo for putting the, the event on um, there is going to be a, a draw for $30 I racing voucher um, John was chatting to me about it before I was going to do it this evening with the stream but I think um, I'll try and get all the names in properly before I do it because it's kind of a rush match and uh, maybe stick a wee stream up and either tomorrow or we might run a fun event maybe next week and I'll put a bit of a stream up and try and get the the raffle done in the middle of it possibly yeah that'll be good that'll be good cool no it's been good it's a um, major change so if you don't know I I've done the the earlier part of the season but they were pre-recorded um, which is very different and um, yeah it was um, it was good to be able to do it to do it live we we got scott brown in the interview room yeah we'll drag him in here and have a wee chat scott how's things not bad mark how's yourself oh we're, we're enjoying us here uh me and sean's having a having a great time watching these boys battle it out <laughs> oh carnage <laughs> yeah how was your race scott how you doing sean yeah good how was your race uh, first race was a bit of a disaster. I spun twice uh, on my own accord. Uh, been practicing all day, never spun all day. And then tonight, just a major skill issue. Uh, second race, I had a pretty bad start, ended up dead last. Uh, just kind of chilled out at the back and worked my way forward up to P12. So, really enjoyed the second race. Um, a good wee battle uh, towards the end there. And yeah, just yeah I, mean, I mean, you're in the AMs, aren't you? I mean, you finished ahead yeah. of many of the pro-ams and even pros so not a bad finish in the second race 
Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Um, just need to kind of maybe try and stay a bit more focused. Um, so, but yeah, that was brilliant. Had a great night. Yeah, no, I've seen, seen, seen good racing out there. Um, you'll be uh, sticking a, an, uh, in for season nine, will you, yourself? Oh, absolutely, yeah. I'm already in, signed up, ready to go. That's good to hear. You, will you chance some of the PCC rounds for practice during the week? Ah, uh, yeah, absolutely. I'll be focusing on them and then hopefully bring over the good form. Yeah, it should hopefully keep it uh, a bit tighter now through the field and uh, should hopefully make for some interesting racing and it'll give you more knowledge of the car um, yeah you had a couple of wee spins you are saying these cars what uh, wing setting were you using wing 5 or wing 10 uh, I was on wing 5 yeah I was thinking yeah. that because it, they are a bit of a handful especially with cold tyres um, to to make them stick you know you run the risk with that some of them tighter corners uh, and then even like through the bus stop and all jumping on the curbs yeah. leaves them quite unpredictable in a way they're, they're a bit more floaty themselves but uh, yeah in that there with the the back straight and the, the draft like it's very hard you need to be running wing five to try and stick with the boys in front you're not losing no time yeah absolutely yeah so yeah I did I did consider switching to wing 10 earlier today but yeah, I just I felt I could handle the low down force and make up on the straights what I was losing in the corners so it's one of them, isn't it? It's, you're damned if you do and damned if you don't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's all it's all fun. Uh, let's see now. Oh, JT's WhatsApp me here. Uh, and sh can Sean <laughs> put a pick a number for raffle or could uh, I pick a number? Yeah, the scene. I, I, you see, he sent me a list here, so he did before, and I didn't know the the official. <laughs> how many people had was in for the race so mm, I'll uh, see maybe try and get John in here and see if we can sort something out but uh, yeah no it's good to have you Scott uh, it'll be good to see you next season next season we'll have uh, Swifty on the broadcast and so uh, hopefully I might get on track myself to race with you boys all been well ideal yeah ideal yeah yeah, and uh, thanks for jumping in to say hello here. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll be probably putting up a fun event or something in between teams. So we'll try and get into that too, maybe. Yeah, and yeah, I'll be into that as well. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, congratulations on the was it twelfth uh, position there this well, evening? Yeah. 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 Twelve. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good man. And uh, we'll we'll see you along the line. Take care. Thank you very much, guys. Cheers, Scott. Thank Cheers. Good Thank luck. you. Thanks. Take care. Cheers, cheers, bye bye. So, um, so Mark, what, 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 um, what is the top end? Where, where are we running numbers from? One, two, to what? Do we know? Hang on a sec, do I see? I'll go and ring John here for a wee second to see if we can sort something out here. Uh, you, you can chat okay. away there and see if we get something else into the interview room. Oh, thank you. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Give it a bit of, bit of a backfill. Yeah, so guys, if um, if you're interested in, in, in joining the league, then I can't recommend Tanzo anymore. Uh, really, it's so friendly. There is, um, it, you know, we don't have any stewarding because it is such a friendly league um we rarely get any issues and we have everything from open wheelers um to the gre6s that you saw tonight gt3s have just finished but they'll be back on a on a friday night we'll do another season of gt3s um and then we've got the gre6s and we're currently running open wheel with the super formula lights um as a casual uh, as a casual league and um I'm sure if we get more interest in that, that will go as an official league as well. And it's a great way to learn how to drive, um, you know, get some understanding of track etiquette and everything like that um, and get some confidence up for, 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 for racing proper, really. If you watch tonight's show back, you will see that we've got some really, really good drivers in the pro division. And, um, 
you know, I'm usually running in the amateur divisions in any race at the back, uh, but, you know, feel just as welcome. So it is, uh, you know, it's a really good league to join, be part of. So nip over to tanzoracinggroup.co.uk. You'll find the link there to the Discord. Come along and, and join us. Um, the <clears throat> the uh, GR86 is a paid entry, but it's only a fiver. But you get the broadcasting with that and prizes. And the others uh, are free to enter. So you can come over, have a bit of a tryout, see if you enjoy it and, um, and join in, have some fun. And hopefully Mark will be back soon because I'm running out of things to say. <laughs> But um, but yeah, um, and in the G GT threes, we we've been requested to do some night racing, so we'll add in night racing there, and um, and we may add a, a spot of rain or two in there. Now it's uh, now it's official. Yeah, um, which be I'm buying. Cool. I was sp speaking to John there, so uh, we'll drag him into the interview room here now and have a wee quick word on. John, how's things? Dead on, Mark. Dead on. Dead on. Hello, yeah. Sean. Hi. Hi, JT. Good of you to join us. Yes, yes, yes. What I happened in the it. second race? You you didn't uh, participate. Did you have a jump start? Mate, i tell you what happened. On the first race, I got taken out. Yes. On the, third, on the first lap, and I spent the next 20 minutes racing on my own. Oh. And then on the second race, I jump started. And I got black flag, and I went back in their pits, and I says, I'm not racing for an hour 25 minutes, so <laughs> I set that one out. Usually oh. I would turn right and just carry on racing, no matter where I come, but I just need tonight wasn't the night, you know. So uh, Craig, he, he got the top position in the uh, yeah. amateurs. It was only, I think it was only seven points or something between them. Um, and I was really, really looking forward to tonight, but it didn't go my way, so... Oh, it's next season. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how many have you got signed up now for season nine so far? So far, I've got uh, 20 says I'm going to race. Uh, so it's just a matter now. The official sign up form is actually done now. And we're just getting the names now, you know. But so far, 20. So it's looking good at the minute now. Yeah, yeah. Like the salary days, you're still on two weeks there. Um, and yes, like, we're having a break now for two weeks, and um, we've actually got Aqua Twist. Um, oh, actually team, teamed up with us now, so um, it's going to be their series. And again, there's uh, prizes each for the league tiers, uh, fifteen dollars, and then there's going to be a big raffle prize of fifty dollars. Oh, that's good. That's good. Um, for this round, for the the raffle for the end of season eight, I was just chatting to John there. We're just going to get all the names uh, officially in with numbers, and I'll do a live stream with the ra uh, random number generator. So we'll stick it up on uh, on YouTube, and um, yes, uh, we'll do a wee raffle just, and we'll sort that out. Uh, just just getting the names and the numbers sorted out before. For the end of this race is a wee bit uh, we just didn't manage to get it finished but uh, yeah we'll get that raffle done now and finish out season 8 yeah because uh, once, uh, once the results are all posted and what have you then we'll know exactly who's on this what and what the race do you know yeah uh, yeah We'll do it all above board, as always in Tanto. But uh, yeah, John, thank you very much for uh, putting this together. It was a, a, a it was a good season. Uh, you had a, a good field of cars there all season, uh, twenty plus every night, I think. And um, yeah, twenty four on track again this evening. And even with that, you had a couple of the top boys not not there. I think you had um, no. Um, who all did we miss this evening? We had a couple of people um. missing. Yeah, Ryan Dudley. I think he was. He was actually attacked me today about the race, uh, and that's just about it, you know. But uh, he, he didn't race, unfortunately. Uh, we had uh, no Stuart Court this evening too. So hopefully we see them boys in for next season, and we'll have some close racing. And who knows? You you might see a, a Mark Brown on track. You never know. <laughs> yeah, we will, we will, we will. 
<laughs> yeah, we'll see. <laughs> True, uh, funny fact is I actually was supposed to be on track this season and never managed to make one of the rounds. So, yeah, we'll see how it go. But, yeah, John, thank you very much for putting this together and thanks for giving me and Sean the opportunity to stream and commentate on this. So, um, yeah, uh, it was a, a good season and uh, we'll uh, see you again for the next one. No problem. So say, thanks very much for the office joining us tonight, especially you, Sean. Yeah. The, yeah. No problem, the, John. I've really enjoyed it. Everything you know, we have noticed. Uh, but it was great, and so I look forward now to watching the back. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Thank okay, you very much, man. Really brilliant. Thank you. Yeah, really enjoyed it. Yeah. All Cheer. right. Thank Cheers, you, Sean. Cheers. Take care. Bye. Yeah, I think we'll wrap it up here, Sean. Um, yeah. yeah. Thank you very much for joining me in here and giving me a hand. Uh, it was great having you doing all the talking and media and the cameras for a change. So <laughs> <laughs> well, it wasn't it wasn't quite so much that it worked it worked quite well I think. Yeah 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 was, yeah. Um, well I hey, sort of me third time so we're all right and yeah I wouldn't be yeah. great at the whole public speaking but um, yeah I think we didn't do too well, bad uh, a bit unfortunate. We'll leave it to the professionals next season. Yeah the static thing I suppose we we apologise for that I don't know what was the issue there so. Um, I don't understand it, like, because I had people on Discord last week in the interview room, and there was no problems with other people in the microphone, and I can hear Sean perfectly. So, yeah, just something, something not playing well, well the other night. So, uh, yeah, we'll uh, wrap it up there, and uh, we shall see you hopefully all uh, next season. Come in, say hi, join Tanzo in Discord, and get the applications in, and uh, we'll see you all on track. All right, cheers, guys. Take Thanks care, for listening. Mate. Cheers, Mark.